Hi, I'm Christy. I'm with Wig and with Christy, and I'm bringing you a review today for Wig Studio One. This is Armoretto by Belle Tress and Honey with Chai Latte. Wig Studio One is a great, amazing online retail store that they offer help for all their customers via email or virtual to help you find the best wig for you. They have a Facebook group of almost 5,000 people that have hair loss, just like you and me and it's a great support system. There's links down below in the description for that. We'd love to have you check out our group. It's a heat-friendly synthetic fiber. So you can restyle this wig. Just note that if you use heat on this style, it will change the style. You will not get these curls back. If you wash the synthetic hair with cool water, it will come back the way it is. If you add a straightener or a curling iron or hot water, it's gonna change the style of the wig. A lot of times people say it feels more realistic and more like thin fibers, human hair. So it's just a personal preference of what you like and what you wanna do with your wigs. This Amaretto has soft waves, curls. It's really cute. Very different than the Columbia, I think was more of a beach wave. This is, you can tell, has a little bit more curl pattern to it. It's also a little bit shorter than Columbia, which I'll get to the measurements soon. It has natural roots in the front. A little bit dark knots right there, but other than that, they're kind of really small in here in our light color. This is just the left-sided part only, so if you typically like to part on the right side, this might not be the best wig for you, and I suggest a monofilament top. Let's talk measurements. So the bang is nine inches. The sides are 11 inches. The nape is 5.5 inches. The back is 12 and a half inches. So overall, this length of this wig is five and a half inches to 12 and a half inches. Let's go ahead and do a spec. All right, let's take a look inside this cap. I want to show you the color though first, a little up close better. So you can see that this root is not your typical Honeywood Chai Latte dark root. This is actually almost an auburn root. And so there can be sometimes variation with the Beltress colors. So you might get Honeywood Chai Latte with a darker root. And that could go for some of the other colors as well. Has a lace front, left monofilament part, with the velvet ear tabs, the velvet extended nape. This is what tells me it's a different route too from my other Beltress wig. I have Beltress and Honey with Chai Latte. The cap is actually the dark brown because the roots are dark brown. This Honey with Chai Latte has a lighter cap construction because the roots are a lot lighter. So just know there could be variation um, in your colors with them. So if you get something that looks completely different than this, you know why. She's really cute. I really like this. Okay, so let's talk about the color. Honey with Chai Latte is a blended color. It gets a lot of reference to kind of like 12FS8. However, this root on this one, I wish I could show you, when I show you inside the cap, you'll see how light it is. It's kind of all over blended and it starts even at the root, I think, the highlights. But this goes all the way up to the root, it looks like. It's a very light root. I have not unparted this, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna comb through this gently with wide tooth comb. These heat friendly fibers, you do wanna be careful on them. And so I did brush out the curls or comb them out, but with water, they just will come right back. Right back to how you have them. 
So you can even spray a spray bottle there and get those trestles right back in there. And I probably, I might do that and bring them right back because I love my curls. This is a great wig to have off the shoulders, although she does hit, she does hit the shoulders right here. So you wanna be careful with these fibers. I would say you will notice that. So you just wanna make sure you always have HD Tingler spray and a wide tooth comb on hand. Keep those with you, keep them in your purse, keep them in your car, everywhere. You wanna make sure you have those with you. That will help you get more time and length out of your wigs. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this review. I just wanna thank Andrea with Wig Studio One for sending me this wig to review for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Down below is gonna be some links for you. If you like this wig, if you'd like to see more from Wig Studio One, their Facebook, their um, Instagram page, their YouTube page down below, you'll find all those links just for you. If you'd like to see more from me, you can check out my YouTube channel, Wigging with Christy, or I have some reviews up on the Wig Studio One channel. Have a great day.